here in the garage, tonight's project is building a projector screen. I actually just got a new projector, and that's why I'm building a new screen, building a bigger screen. The project is pretty simple. You basically need a drill, you need wood, you need screws, you need some white canvas, a staple gun, a little uh, tacker where it's here. Easy tacker. You could use some uh, bungee cords and some wood glue. And if you start with uh, one by, you could make all your cuts with a handsaw. First couple things, your wood ought to be dry. If you're buying brand new wood, just get good straight wood. And this is what I mean when I say good straight wood. I mean, that's pretty, pretty straight. I'm gonna be using a combination of uh, two by as well as some two by fours, some two by twos, and then I'm gonna take and rip down some two by fours because I don't have enough linear feet. So next thing is how, how to uh, figure out the size of the frame that you need. Now what my screen is 64 and 3 8 inch wide. That's the spot I have to fill. 16 by nine, you just take that 64 and 3 8 divided by 16 uh, two by, by nine as well as 62 by three eighths two by two needs to be 36 and uh, just 16 by nine and just take by four three eighths so got the wood uh we're gonna jump right in here all right now i've got my uh bottom and top uh, these will be out of two by four and if your wood's a little bit rough it's okay because it's all gonna be wrapped in canvas they've got just a little bit I'm not sure if you can see that They've got just a little bit of a crown to them, which is good because these are going to be the tops and bottoms of the screen. We'll put that crown essentially so that it's crowned out. The way that I'm going to butt these up is going to be I'm going to build the screen with the sides coming in to the bottoms in a, a joint like that. And then I'm just going to run a screw down through. Now I'm going so the, the top and bottom pieces will be full length and pieces height minus the thickness of the top and bottom. Let's go from there. So there you have it. I'm excited for this screen. It's gonna be pretty big. If it's square and if you need to do some additional bracing, a couple things I wanna point out, like little stuff like that. Not a huge deal. If you are concerned about it, you could hit that with sander or push it in and try and re-screw it. But the critical point at this step is to see if it is actually square. So we're gonna measure diagonally and see if they measure the same thing. Are you gonna measure something or are you gonna measure it? So over here we got, uh, that looks like 73 and 7 eighths inch. So for all intents and purposes, it's gonna be about 72 inch screen. That looks pretty freaking dead on the money. I don't think we need to do anything else. I'm actually gonna pop these corners apart one at a time and sneak a little bit of glue in there. Not that it's super necessary. I could probably, you know what? Change my mind, not even gonna. Uh, now we're gonna uh, go inside and do the next part. All right, so the next piece is canvas. Iron on the ironing board. Now this part, you can be as cautious as you want to be. I'm gonna be pretty cautious because I want this thing to be perfect. I'm gonna wrap the frame, use bungee cords and uh, some of these Grippadales. Uh, I'm gonna do just a quick preliminary iron first. And I'm likely gonna end up painting if you don't paint it at all, then some of the light will get through the fabric and then the picture won't be as bright as it could be. But anyway, I'm gonna uh, get to ironing and wrapping and see what we come up with. It gets a little bit dirty during the mounting process. Because if you just paint it, then you can cover up any fingerprints or whatever that you made. Mm -hmm. 
And these things are so you can. This is one of those times you think, man, what am I saving this for? That's what you're saving it for. Here's some uh, bungee cord. My brother-in-law's dad was getting rid of it. He just brought it over one day. He thought, Dan might want that. Well, here we go. This is actually gonna work perfect. All right, so the last thing we're gonna be able to do tonight is get some paint on there in true Dan fashion. Wanted to use what I've got. About a half can of flat white ceiling paint. If we feel like it's soaking up a little bit too much of the light, I've got some satin. Um, so I've got it all set up over here. Try and go as easy as possible. I will uh, set it up and get to painting. Got a coat of paint on there. There's no wrinkles visible. And that's a good thing. Dear God, it's beautiful. But there are some inconsistencies, uh, but those will clear up with subsequent coats of paint. Hashtag life hack. If you want to keep your paint so that it doesn't dry out overnight, but you don't want to clean everything up. Press and seal. Thanks, press and seal. You're the bomb. You'll see these are on here now, but once it's all painted, then I will staple it all in place, remove the straps. Anyway, there's the screen so far. One eternity later. All right, so fast forward all the coats of paint later, uh, shorter beard later, here is the masterpiece. So I made it specifically to fit right in between the molding and the window. That's an intentional thing so that it goes up and comes down real easily. I just put a little marker nail right here just as a guide to, so I get it at the same height every time. Clean up all this, I'm gonna build a triangular shelf to go behind here. And then these cords go up to the ceiling mounted projector there. This makes a nice hub, a nice place I can hide my router and my modem and stuff behind a screen that's super easy to get to. And I'll put that screen back up. It just pushes right up into place. And it just fits nice and snug. I power this with Chromecast, so you can just cast anything to it, YouTube or, or whatever. And that's, I've got that stashed down in the media center there with the, the speakers. I mean, it's kind of a kind of a simple setup, but the picture, 75 inch picture, $500 projector from b &H, it's a thank you. Oh, and the naked cat wants to say hi. Hi. Uh, that's years ago. My uh, boy Oliver, who's almost 10 now. That picture is blurry. You can see the Christmas in the letters here. And in daylight, it's still pretty good. There is a little bit of washout that happens from this window right here. It's overall a pretty sweet setup. I freaking love it. So anyway, hope you enjoy. Enjoyed the setup. I mean, 70 inch screen for about 600 bucks and it's pretty, pretty good quality. So anyway, thanks for watching. If you liked that video, please hit that like button or subscribe or, you know, 
So whatever, we'll fix something else again soon. Thanks. In true Dan fashion, try and go as easy as possible.